What's going on, everybody? Kyrie Thompson back with you for another episode of First and Fox, bro. Make sure you download, subscribe, stream it on the free Odyssey app and wherever you get your podcast, and check out the show on YouTube. That's just really cool to me for whatever reason. Go ahead and check it out on YouTube. Comment, interact with the show on Twitter too, whether it's at Katie Thompson Five, which is my account, or at First and Foxboro, the F O X B O R O. Make sure you hit us up and tell us what you think of the show, ideas that you want for more shows, prospects you want us to look at for the upcoming draft, or free agents you want to talk about. Come on, keep it coming. I love the interaction, it's great. I want to talk real quick about a poll that came down from the Jones and Mega with Arcan show on WEEI, our afternoon show there. It was asking about whether or not you would want the New England Patriots to pursue Derek Carr, who was just released by the Las Vegas Raiders before he was going to be due $40 million in guaranteed money, right? Way to get out of that one. But would you want him on the Patriots? And Jones apparently wants Derek Carr on the Patriots. Mego, others around the way apparently don't want Derek Carr on the Patriots. The overwhelming answer to that poll was no, keep Derek Carr out of here. Here's why I agree with the no vote. Derek Carr is a good player. He is a solid football player. He's been in the postseason, consistent 4,000-yard passer. Like He can play. He's a solid, good NFL quarterback. And look, I say solid, right? You usually think of average. Well, average quarterback play is more good because, look, there's some bad stuff out there, man. There are some bad quarterback play going on in the NFL. Stopgap veterans who, I mean, they're getting, you know you're going to bench them eventually for the rookie who's not really ready to play right now or the backup who's not very good. I mean, look, there, there's a lot of bad stuff out there on Sunday. Derek Carr is an actually good player. In a vacuum, I'd say he's better than Mac Jones is right now. But to me, you have to pick a lane if you're a team like the New England Patriots. Do you want to be the team that invests in the elite quarterback who has an elite quarterback or acquires one via trade or signs one, what have you? And then you say a high tie lifts all boats where, okay, maybe our receivers are just okay, but they're not great. Or our offensive line is okay, but it's not great. Our defense as a whole is okay, but not great. But we got that dude who is... He's the best. He's the baddest dude out there. He's going to get us where we want to go. Say the Chiefs route where, yeah, they've got a Travis Kelsey. They've got a Chris Jones on the other side of things. But for the most part, a lot of other positions are okay to to good. And some of them are maybe a little bit below average. But because you have Patrick Mahomes, it doesn't matter. Okay, it doesn't matter if you lose Tyreek Hill. That guy is just going to keep on balling and get you a shot at the Super Bowl every single year. Or do you want to go the other route? Do you want to be more like the Philadelphia Eagles, where they invest in a young quarterback on a rookie deal and say, you know what, we're going to build up the rest of the roster. We're going to have one of the best defenses, if not the best defense in football. We're going to go ahead and trade for AJ AJ Brown. And we're going to sign him to a $100 million contract. We're going to go ahead and give him the best offensive line in football and we are going to say hey look because this guy's only getting paid like four million dollars or or even less potentially that everything else is going to be elite everything else is going to be really good we're going to elevate our young cat and then when it gets to be time for him to elevate us we're going to empower him to do that look at what jalen hurts just did in the super bowl it's a guy that people wanted to get rid of a couple of years ago and or even just coming into this last season they wanted to get rid of him What they do, they invested. They invested in him. They got him weapons. They got him an offensive line, a running game, defense, all that. And they went to the Super Bowl. And Jalen Hurts balled out. He wasn't carried in that Super Bowl. He was going to be the MVP. Four total touchdowns. Dude was killing. All right? I think that the Patriots are closer to being that team of the Eagles ilk. Because right now, you probably don't have an avenue a realistic avenue to an elite quarterback right now, unless you traded for Aaron Rodgers, and you don't want to do that. You don't want to give up the draft capital and pay however much money you're going to have to pay Aaron Rodgers for him to come here and be weird and passive aggressive. Okay. So what do you have? You have a quarterback on a cheap rookie deal right now. 
who is the number 15 overall pick. That means he's not breaking the bank right now. And so he's a guy that you won 10 games with in his first year. And yeah, things dropped off after that because of how bad the coaching was and, and the situation, the roster was mid, what have you on the offensive side of the football. All right. But for whatever reason that was, he was good enough before that to where you thought that he was going to keep on taking steps. And to me, Mac Jones still has room to grow. You have $28 million free right now to make the roster better around Mac Jones, whether you're going to trade for a receiver like a T Higgins or what have you. I don't know if they're going to do that, but if you're going to give him offensive line help and then draft receiver help, there are so many different ways that you can make this team better. This was a team that was one game away, despite all the dysfunction. If they had just won one game down the stretch, one more game that they had lost, they're in the playoffs again. They are right there in order to be a playoff contender. Super Bowl contender, you got to do a little bit more work. But even you could say Bill O'Brien just being here by himself, that maybe makes the Patriots a playoff team coming up. That's pretty good for, again, the, the value of Mac Jones being on a cheap rookie deal. Yeah, if you if you get Derek Carr, you could say Derek Carr is, is a better overall player than Mac Jones is right now. But is he going to be a better player and a better fit for the Patriots and what they want to do at 20 plus million dollars? Because what reason does he have to take some discount? to take a you know $15 million or whatever, and, and let's go ahead and build a team. There's no incentive for him to do that. It's going to go where the money is. So say the, the Patriots really wanted him, you're going to have to pay $20 plus million. That almost eats up everything that you got free this year. And that probably means you're going to have to cut some guys and start over at certain positions just to make space for Derek Carr to come in. Is that worth it? it and, and look, Derek Carr is probably going to have the Patriots be in a nine win team again because he's good. But is he that good where he's going to elevate everything around him to a level that's going to get you to be a Super Bowl contender and be worth that for 20 to 30 million dollars? I don't think so. I personally do not see that. So the question becomes, is Derek Carr better than Matt Jones at their respective values? To me, that's a no. I feel like the Patriots are better served going with Mac Jones. And yes, again, you could say anybody but Mac Jones. I know he's not the answer. At the same time, that's not entirely practical. If you're going to say anybody but Mac Jones, then you either need to get a much better quarterback, one that's going to get you in position to potentially compete for more than just getting blasted in the wild card round, or you need to go ahead and draft a guy. That's something that we could touch on another time, whether or not you would want to do that. But strictly for Mac Jones versus Derek Carr, give me Mac Jones for now. That's all for this one. First in Foxborough, I'm Kyrie Thompson. Download, subscribe, listen on the free Odyssey app, and I'll catch you later.